What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. When they when they get the drivers, they they over here talking about it ain't no work. How is it not no work? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I don't understand that. I don't understand it. how is it. How is it that you advertising seventy cent a mile, thirty? Th I mean, three thousand miles a week. You you advertising you advertising three thousand miles a week, seventy cent a mile. You 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 seeing seventy cent a mile, three thousand miles a week, two thousand dollars a settlement. You'll be going home with fifteen hundred dollars a week. You look at that shit. You say, "Cool, I'm with it. Let's go." I'll sign at the dotted line today. Go take the drug test, pass that. Go take the one day, because it's only one day with a black ops company. Go and take the one day orientation. Knock all that shit out. And you'll be in your truck by 5 o'clock in the evening. You get your first load. That takes you out. You're happy. They're going to give you, they're going to give you a good load going out. Trust me. They're going to give you. They're going to give you that first five, six hundred miler load. And then after you drop off that load, they, they might come back and give you another five, six hundred miler load. But then later down the line, your loads will start getting less. Or I'm sorry, your miles will start getting less and less and less. And now you, now you sitting up at the TA, uh, 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 either a half a day or a whole day, waiting for a load. Now that your DM is having trouble to find, I don't get it. How are you in business this long? You've been in business. You've been in business for what ten years? Like some of these black ops companies, like ten years, fifteen years, maybe, maybe. They started at the 2000. So what's this, 2023? So you've been in business for 22 years. Put that coffee down. Throughout the 22 years, I understand there are spikes. There are, there are spikes and there are shorts in trucking. I get that. You know, you, you probably might get a good 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 mile low for that for that first couple of weeks and then turn back around and maybe get about a 2,500 mile low. I get that. I get that. You're, you're not going to get 3,000 miles every week. You, you just not. And if a company says that you do, they lying. Or you, I'll take that back. You not the one that's going to get the 3,000 every week somebody in the company is getting three thousand dollars every i mean three thousand miles every week it's just not you okay because i guess you're low on the totem board or totem pole i'm sorry totem pole yeah but how is it possible that you advertising in facebook in instagram online in the DMs, you hitting the, you you even hitting up the emails, and you telling me that you got all the miles that you can give me, I can make all the money that I want, and then when I get there, when I when I get there, it's oh, okay. We can't find no work. What do you mean you can't find no work? Well, I'm 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 checking the low boards and there's it, nothing out there. What? Look, somebody is getting something. It's just not me. And that's and that's what lies the problem. That lies the problem right there. Somebody is getting something. It's just not me. So what? I'm getting the leftovers? That's what you're saying? It must be that. It got to be that. I'm getting the leftovers. That's what it is. Y'all getting the good y'all getting the good miles for all your other guys. And then when somebody, when one of your good guys be like, 
No, I don't want to take that 300 miler. Or I don't want to take that 150 miler. Then you come all the way down to me, the last person on the totem pole, and give it to me. And, and be like, oh, okay, well, I, I got this for you because this is all we can find. No, it ain't all you can find. It's what your, your, your top guys didn't want. You accepted the load. That's your job. You, you talk to the brokers, you go on. Cool. This coffee smells like shit. The load board, you set up the loads. You accept the loads. Now it's up to you to distribute the loads. You go to your top guys first. You don't think I know how that works? You go to your top guys first. You go to them and they say, no, 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 no. And then you come down to the bottom of the totem pole, which is me, to turn around and be like, oh, well, this is what I can find for you. You already found it. That's why when I get it, I, I go, I run the load, and now when I get to the drop-off point, I'm late. Or it was supposed to be there at, at 10 o'clock in the morning, but yet you couldn't get one of your guys to take it. So I get it, and I got to I gotta, I gotta feel the brunt of being the work in because one of your guys didn't want the load. Now, instead of being there at 10 o'clock, I get there at 2 o'clock, Got to wait until 10 o'clock to get unloaded and then do the process all over again. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I mean, I racked my head like when I drove for the Black Ops Company. I mean, that was I, I think that was my well, that's the biggest issue with all of them, like with all of us. And when I see settlements like 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 his. I I I kind of I kind of feel them because I've been there. I was making like seventy five cent a mile at this one at at this one black ops company. I was cool. They gave me the milk. They told me like, "Yo, you can do this and all like that." I was like, "Fuck, seventy five cent a mile." And don't get me wrong, when I when I when I started there with them, the first couple of weeks, the first month was good. You know, check, well, oh yeah, I can get with this. But then after that, it's like when I come off of home time, bring a load from Ohio, come back up to Chicago, or I have two questions for you, Cato, and then you can go home. Why is it that my dad's mechanic makes the coffee? And why is it that without you, the coffee tastes like crap? I think it's easier if I show you. Come back to yeah, Chicago, Illinois. Or back over to Bolingbrook because that's where they're out of. I it, it's like I become a local driver. I, I I don't go nowhere else. I go I go four or five hundred mile radius outside of Chicago, uh, Chicago, Illinois, Missouri, maybe back to Ohio, maybe maybe over across the way to Wisconsin. But it's no more than it's no more than a three, four hundred mile radius. And I become a local driver. So I get there. My I don't my 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 pickup don't come in until until late in the evening. But don't have to be delivered until early the next morning. And that's where the problem lies with these black ops companies. So I can understand. Oh no, I hope I don't fall. Thinking of a master plan. This ain't nothing but sweat inside my hand. So I dig into my pocket, all my money spent. Dig deeper, still coming up with lens. So I start my mission, leave my residence. Thinking, how could I get some dead presidents? I need money. I used to be a stick up kid. So I think of all the devious things I did. Used to roll up, this is a hole up. Nothing funny, stop smiling. Be still.